Welcome to video number 41 in the Using iTrain tutorial series. My name is Bob. In this tutorial we look at the Station Properties Train Types tab. Welcome back. Within the Station Properties the Train Types tab is where we can specify the types of train that can use this station as a destination. We can set parameters so that for some train types this station will be a destination that it can travel to, but for other train types we can set it so that it will not be a destination at all or only sometimes. The Train Types tab is where we specify the relationship between the train type and the station for trains that are driving automatically without a route. We list the types of trains that are eligible to be used in this station in this table here. If a train type is not listed here, that train type will avoid the station. It will not stop and wait at the station and it will not even try to pass through the station when running automatic routing without a route. So by default you will see that all train types are specified with the weight ticked. This means that all train types are allowed to enter and stop and wait at this station, or to allow all trains to pass through the station if a weight is not specified. But you may also deliberately want this station to be excluded as a destination when using automatic routing without a route, in which case you would leave the entries completely empty and you would remove that entry. In this case the station itself can still be used for train routes and instant routes, but would be excluded from automatic routing without a route. But we want to use this station for automatic routing, so we ensure that we have the all train types selected, and if we want trains to stop, at our station, then we click the wait. As well as specifying if a wait is allowed at this station, we can also set the percentage chance that it will wait. 100% means it will always wait, and less than 100% means it will sometimes wait. The duration of the wait is specified by the minimum and maximum times here. The time will be chosen randomly within the ranges we have set every time the train decides to wait in a station. If we want the wait to be a specific value, then we set the minimum max to the same value. We adjust the weight values using the adjustment windows here. We can either use the up and down arrows to scroll them, or we can directly enter a figure, which will always be in seconds, by highlighting it and then just typing in, say, seven seconds and return, or 30 seconds to put it back to where it was. 
when a train type waits, we can also specify whether we want the train to change direction after the wait has been completed. And we do that by ticking the direction box. And we can add variation by changing the percentage chance of the wait occurring. Only trains that are allowed to change direction because they have a locomotive or control car on either side of the train will be allowed to change direction. Blocks in which it is always necessary to change direction to continue, in other words, when the chance is set at 100% and the direction is ticked. These blocks will only be visited by trains with either a locomotive or a control car at both ends of the train. For other trains, the change of direction is ignored unless we tick the force checkbox here to allow any train to change direction. But if we want to maintain the direction when the train has finished the wait, we deselect the direction change button. So all train types applies these settings to all trains. But we can specify these things for each train type by adding a particular train type to the list here. When we specify a particular train type, it overrides the all train type setting for that train type. For example, we could add a line to prevent cargo trains from using this station as a destination to stop and wait. We do that by appending a line, selecting the type of train from the list here, it will be cargo in this case, and to prevent the trains from stopping and waiting at this station, we click the wait button to uncheck it. So now all cargo type trains would not wait and stop at this station. And we could add another entry for intercity trains. Where the percentage chance of a wait is, let's say, 35%. And where we want a strict duration of wait of between 10 and 12 seconds, for example. And another entry for, let's say, a local passenger train. We want these train types to always wait at the station, so we set that to 100% and a longer duration, let's say 15 seconds to 30 seconds. And if the train is capable of changing direction, let's give it a 25% chance that that direction change will occur. And you notice when we change the value from 0%, it automatically ticks the direction box for us. So that sets this station up for these particular train types. And all other train types will use the settings that we've set in the all train types line here. If we untick the weight for all train types, but leave the all train types line here, that will stop all other train types not listed here from stopping at the station, but will allow them 
to pass through the station. It's a kind of catch-all for other train types. That allows iTrain to still use this station as a pass-through for those other train types when it is calculating automatic routing without a route. So unticking the weight in all train types does not deactivate the weight for the whole station. Any specific train types listed below will still have their weight active or not, as in the case of the cargo. And as we saw in the last tutorial, particular blocks can have weights assigned to them too. If we completely removed the all train types line by clicking the remove button, all unlisted train types would not be able to use a path that contained this station because those train types would not be allowed to wait or pass through the station. Now I've said during this tutorial and during the previous tutorial that if a block, a station block, does not have the weight ticked, a train will never stop and wait at that block. Well that isn't strictly true because a station block which does not have the weight ticked will allow a train to stop at that block if it needs to wait for the line ahead to clear. So iTrain will always try to give priority to train safety and will override any settings that we have made that may put that train into danger. So that's an overview of the train types tab. In the next tutorial, we're going to take a closer look at the effect that the percentage chance of a weight has on automatic routing without a route. So I hope to see you then, but before you go, please take the time to click the like button. It costs you nothing to click the button and it gives me the motivation to continue creating these tutorials. See you next time.